Cross. Well, hello guys. Welcome, welcome to Crush Wednesday. It's good to have you all along. Um, if you're joining me live, give me a little wave or a hello in the comments and uh, I can uh, check out uh, who's on the live. It's me today. Um, so uh, I am filling in uh, for, um, for Richard because... That's what I do. Um, and uh, so if you're on the live, give me a little wave. I can see Simon's here and just joined. I'm just going to share this so everyone knows that we're actually live. Um, and today I'm talking all about, hey, John, good to have you on. I'm talking all about why your Facebook ads aren't working. And this is probably the number one question I get asked from clients all the time, um, is why aren't my Facebook ads working? Um, I've done all the creatives, I've done, you know got the audiences and I've been running them for a day or I've been running them for a week and I don't know why they're not working. Or sometimes we don't even know if they're working or not. Hey Jess, good to have you on. Thank you. I I do. Uh, I I am the social media master here at uh, here at Com. So if you're not sure about um, what I do here, hi Ali, good to have you. Um, so I'm head of digital brand here at Com Marketing, and I uh, run a lot of Facebook ads just, um, in internally here for our team. Um, but also for clients as well. Um, so I probably run, I was trying to calculate it, this is my last calculation, um, but at last calculation I probably run about $200,000 worth of Facebook ad campaigns myself. Um, hey Crystal, good to have you on. Um, and, uh, and so I do a lot of coaching and a lot of uh, teaching uh, to our ninja program on Facebook ads. I've done a lot of training for um, other organizations as well. So I do know a little bit about Facebook ads. I know the good parts and I know the really frustrating parts um, when you can't seem to get your ads working um, and that kind of thing. So um, if you've been running Facebook ads um, or if you've done any kind of uh, paid Facebook any money, um, then uh, let me know in the comments. Put a little like uh, a little smiley face or something that you've been running ads or a little thumbs up. Um, so welcome, welcome again. If you're watching the live or even if you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching the replay as well. Um, I know a lot of this time is kind of prime time for a lot of our trainers. So you guys watch the replay, which is great. Um, hey, David, good to see you. Um, so we're talking all about why Facebook ads might not be working. Now, what I find is there's probably two main categories why Facebook ads um, are, are not working for you. The first one of those is expectations and actually that you might have some unrealistic expectations as to what Facebook ads can actually do for your business. The second one is technical. Um, and so there might be a technical reason that your Facebook ads aren't working. And I am going to cover both of those um, because they're both really important. Um, and, uh, and so sometimes I even find that um, the expectations are actually harder to solve um, than the actual technical part because I can easily look at an ad campaign and see technically um, what's working and what's not but sometimes we set ourselves up um, with not very good expectations um, and so we're expecting ads to work better than they are or we're expecting them to do something else. So let's have a little talk about um, what Facebook ads can actually deliver for your business because I want you guys to be really clear and I've been talking a lot in our Ninja program about Facebook ad expectations because I think that there is um, kind of this uh, maybe rose-colored glasses when it comes to Facebook ads. So firstly, let's talk about Facebook ads. Well, Facebook ads it, are not, okay? Facebook ads are not a magic pill. They are not going to save your business. They're not going to fill up your, um, your challenge that's starting on Monday. 
Um, they, they're just, that, that's just a really unrealistic, unrealistic expectation, guys. So if you're thinking that there's some kind of magical wonderland um, that, uh, that, that's going to be the saviour um, of your life, that, that's not going to work, okay? Facebook ads are hard. You have to spend money. Um, and they still sit in your in your normal sales funnel, okay? They're just a really great way to reach a brand new audience. But all the same sales and marketing principles still apply on Facebook, okay? So Facebook ads don't mean that you're never going to have to do a sales pitch again. I'm really, really sorry. Um, if you hate doing sales and you think, well, I'm just going to go all online, um, I'm really sorry to disappoint, but that's probably not going to happen, okay? I find for local lead generation businesses, like fitness businesses, like wellness businesses, all of that kind of thing, Facebook is really great for generating leads, but you're still going to have to put them through your normal process of nurturing them, lead generation, all of that kind of thing, okay? So the third thing is that Facebook ads are not going to generate you massive scalable sales like the gurus tell you online, okay? Um, so what I find is a lot of people follow these big Facebook gurus, um, which are great, and I follow them as well, but sometimes we can get a really unrealistic view of, um, of from, from those people um, because there's two types of Facebook ads that I see uh, people running on um, online or on Facebook. The first one is people like us who are running local lead generation, okay? So um, that means... You're a local-based business. Uh, you've got a small area, so you know you're looking at your suburb, a couple of suburbs around you, um, and that's actually a really small audience when we're talking about the bigger picture of Facebook. Okay, so the second type of Facebook ads that people run are global kind of e-commerce uh, Facebook ads, and so they're working with national and global audiences, which are huge. Um, and usually they're working with maybe a bit of a smaller product that they're selling. And so what I find is that, you know, a lot of these Facebook gurus are those kind of people. Big budgets, big audiences, small products to sell. And so that's why they tell you that you can get one cent a click or you can get, you know, this per conversion or that per conversion. But we're working in a really, really different way. We're working locally. We're working with smaller audiences, smaller budgets, all of that kind of thing. And so we need to really make sure that we're, we're, we have a, a realistic expectation of what Facebook ads can do on a local level, okay? So that's kind of what Facebook ads are not going to be able to do for you. But what Facebook ads can do, okay, is they will allow you to be exposed to a completely new audience, an audience of people who have never heard of you before. And that's one of the things that I actually love about Facebook. You know, I really think that Facebook is an amazing opportunity for business owners um, that we've never had before as small business owners, okay? So we've never been able to um, really play with kind of the big guys and the big companies and all of that because, you know, it was really too expensive. You know, if you think about TV or radio or all of that, that's kind of really expensive media. But actually what Facebook allows us to do is find our exact audience, our exact people, and really, really target them um, on, on a really local level and find a completely new audience that may not have been able to find us in the past. So Facebook ads are just such an amazing um, uh, amazing opportunity for us as small business owners. So I don't want um, I don't want to kind of scare anyone away because I actually think Facebook ads are amazing and that's why I, I do Facebook ads and I love Facebook ads. Um, it's just trying to get that right expectation. So I think really knowing that Facebook ads will allow you to kind of reach this bigger, um, audience is um, is a, a very realistic expectation to have. Um, Facebook ads will generate you leads. I don't necessarily mean sales, so you might not be able to have people sign up online and do all of that online, but it will definitely generate you leads, okay? It's a great lead source. And then Facebook ads can help you make sales, 
but you're probably going to need to be involved in that process. So that might be picking up the phone um, and talking to somebody um, about the details they put in online or, or something like that, okay? So um, let's talk about then, um, now that I've kind of given you kind of the, the cliff notes, um, I want to get into kind of these five reasons that I see that Facebook ads can't um, or may not be working in your business right now. So if you're still with me, um, then give me a little thumbs up that you're ready. Also ready in the comments if you're ready for these five points. Five points why your Facebook ads are not working. Oh, I see Pam is on. Hello, Pam. Um, so number one is actually a technical one. Um, what I see uh, is that people choose the wrong objective when their Facebook ads are not working. Um, so, and what I mean by this is when you go into Ads Manager, so if you're boosting posts, that's kind of one thing, okay? I'm really talking more about this other side of Facebook, which you're using the Ads Manager, you're creating full campaigns, that kind of thing. So boosting is great. And what I love about boosting is that you can really spend a little bit of money and reach this kind of new audience. And it's great for awareness building. Um, and so uh, that's what I love about, um, about boosting. But when we're talking about creating campaigns, okay, so maybe you want leads to sign up, maybe you want conversions, maybe you want people to watch your video, all of that kind of thing. What I find is that sometimes, um, and, and this can just be because we're a little bit confused, uh, Facebook Ads Manager is really confusing. I just logged in this morning, it's completely changed and I'm trying to navigate around and so sometimes we can just get confused. And so sometimes we want to create leads, right? And so instead of choosing lead generation or conversion as our objective, we choose reach or we choose video views. Um, or sometimes we just want people to watch our videos but we choose link clicks instead. And so. That's not necessarily, it's not going to completely ruin your campaign, but what Facebook does is that depending on your objective, okay, so depending on what you want to do, your goal of the campaign, they will send the kind of traffic for your objective. So what that means is if you want leads, but instead you choose reach as your objective, so you just choose, you say that basically what you're saying to Facebook is, I just want as many people as possible to see my ad. But they're not the kind of people that usually click through and put their, their details in, those kinds of people. So Facebook is obviously monitoring a whole lot of different behaviors. And so it can actually send the right kind of traffic to your ad depending on the objective that you choose. Okay, so if you want lead generation, um, and if you want to create leads, then you need to make sure that the objective that you choose is lead generation, okay? That's one of the biggest things that I see, probably number one, that's why it's number one on my list, um, of why Facebook ads may not be working, okay? So make sure that you go back into your ads manager. If you're running ads right now, go back and just have a look at what your objective is. This is how you will know what your objective is. When you're looking at the results, so when you go into Ads Manager and you can see all of your campaigns listed and it will have a results column. Underneath that, it will tell you what kind of results. So it will say, say, um, 1,500 video views. And so if it says video views, then you've chosen video views as your objective. If it has 10 leads, then you've chosen leads as your objective. So just make sure that you're matching up your objective with what you actually want for that campaign, okay? Let me know if that makes sense. Put a yes in the comments if that makes sense. Choosing the right objective. Alrighty, so moving on to number two. Number two is actually you might be trying to sell too soon. Okay, so I always say this to our ninjas, right? You cannot walk up to somebody in a bar and ask them to marry you without even buying them a drink, all right? Um, and it's the same online. And I think this is where we think that Facebook is some magic tool that's gonna bring us in all these leads without us doing very much work. 
Um, and it, you know, I, I'm really, really passionate about marketing and sales is still the same, but Facebook is just a tool that you can use um, to, to make that happen, okay? So, oh great, I see a few yeses. Um, so, Facebook is one of the most skeptical places I have ever experienced. Um, and people on Facebook are skeptical. And even though you have an amazing ad, you might have a great video, great graphics, if that's the first time that they've seen you online, they are very unlikely to click on your ad training and want to come and jump into training straight away. They may have a million different issues. They might have tried something like this before and it doesn't work. Um, actually, they may hate exercise and not even want to do it. And suddenly your ad's popping up and they're like, mm, I don't think so. Um, and so really, what we need to do is come back to the fundamentals of marketing and of sales and realize that um, you need to actually put people through a funnel <clears throat> so in the Ninja program, we talk about it in terms of awareness, engagement, conversion. So if the funnel looks like this, you've got awareness at the top, engagement in the middle, and then conversion down the bottom. And there's a reason that the funnel starts off quite large and then goes quite small down the bottom is because not everyone that you that kind of enters up here when they're first finding out about you ends up down here in conversion. People fall out. Um, you know, and people kind of exit the, the bucket at different times, okay? So what you should be doing, really best practice, is to start running ads that are around awareness, okay? If people don't know who you are, so it, let's, let's just think about a hypothetical situation. You've got um, a new challenge starting and you want to fill it up. You've got about six weeks, okay, um, to, till your challenge starts. And so you find an audience. Um, you find everyone in your area within about 15 minutes drive um, who is a fan of health and fitness on Facebook, okay? That's a very general kind of audience, um, but just imagine um, something like that. They've never heard of you. They don't know anyone who is in um, your uh, in your program already. They don't know anyone who's doing it. Um, they're completely blind, okay? So really, instead of just asking people to sign up straight away, because that's really, that's really like the scenario of walking into a bar and asking someone to marry you straight up, instead of doing that, um, why not start with some videos, okay? Maybe that's some videos of, the training that you do, um, some past videos of testimonials from people who have done the challenge before. Um, maybe that's just you on camera explaining who you are. Hey, my name's Evelyn. Um, I'm a trainer in the local area. I really love um, this area. I've, I've been living here for so long. I love the people here. And I'm starting a 28 day challenge because I'm really passionate about health and really passionate about seeing people reach their fitness goals. I understand that, you know, not everyone likes to do fitness, but you know what? The people who come to this challenge, they've started off not loving it. And then in the end, they've ended up, you know, continuing on with training, you know, a passionate video like that with your face on video, not asking anyone to sign up, just telling people who you are and what you're passionate about is really, really powerful, okay? And the thing that I love about video is that Facebook actually records every one um, of those people who watch your video. And then you can use those same people, we call it an audience, um, so you can cr you can collect all of those people who've seen those awareness videos, okay? Maybe it's of you training people, you talking to the camera, testimonials, whatever it is, we call all of those awareness videos. And so we collect all of those people who watch those videos, and then we can show them a different ad. Maybe that's an ad to sign up, maybe that's an ad to um, download a free training or a free guide or something like that. That's how we move people through this funnel, okay? So your ads may, may be great. You might have done the right thing in terms of audience. You might have done the right thing in terms of um, your creatives and your copy. But the problem is maybe you just tried to sell too early to people, okay? So that's number two. 
All right, we've got a few more people on. Crystal says, total gold, thank you. Joey's watching. Simon says, great advice, awesome guys. So number one was you're using the wrong objective. Number two was you're probably trying to sell too soon. Number three, are you all ready? If you're ready for number three, put a three in the comments. Number three is you're probably not spending enough money, okay? And um, this is a really, really big one that I see all the time, okay? And I tell people Facebook is not for your chump change, okay? It's not for the change you find in your pockets. I was rifling through my bag this morning trying to find some coins so I could go and buy my coffee. That's not what Facebook is for, okay? Facebook is a serious marketing tool. And if you think that you're going to be able to spend a couple of dollars on Facebook and get all these amazing results, I'm really sorry to tell you this morning, but that's not going to work, okay, guys? Um, so you need to be serious about your business. You need to be serious about getting leads. Um, and so you need to actually put a bit of a marketing budget aside. Now, not everyone um, has the money to be able to spend hundreds of dollars on Facebook, and I totally understand that. And so if you're not at that point, then that's totally okay. But do you know what you can continue to do? You can continue to run your awareness because awareness ads actually cost a whole lot less than lead generation ads do, okay? So you can spend your $5 a day, your $10 a day, boosting your posts and boosting those awareness videos and people will start to see you and people will start to be aware of you. And that is totally okay. But if you wanna run lead generation ads, then you are going to have to spend a little bit more money um, on getting leads in, okay? So um, usually I suggest for people who want to run lead generation ads that they spend between $30 and $50 a day on Facebook. And that's going to get you um, kind of some very good traction on lead generation um, and some really um, start to get some really good results. Now, that might not be, you might not run that all the time, you might run that for um, before your next challenge to get people into that, okay? So not necessarily saying you have to always run that kind of budget, but I usually find that a lead um, on Facebook for um, a, uh, say, a lot of people run group fitness right now, so um, those leads cost about $30 to $50 a lead, okay? So you, you just need to be aware of what, what the actual costs are because some people will come back to me I'll, I'll see a whole lot of their ads and they've spent fifty dollars and got one lead and i'm saying to them, well this isn't bad this is actually you you're doing okay um so they're the kinds of things you need to raise your expectations on um just to make sure that you you are actually doing okay um, and you do need to have those those right expectations all right and it does seem expensive but I want you to think about it in terms of you, you need to in your business in general, whether you're running Facebook ads or not, is you need to know what you're willing to pay for a lead. Because most of us, I would say, you know, um, in general, most of us are used to just getting referrals, okay? So if you um, if your if your lead source is referrals, I want you to put that in the comments. I want you to write referrals. Okay? Now referrals are such a fantastic way to get business. Um, and they're actually my favorite way because the people already know you, they love you, they've got somebody probably in the program already, and it's just fantastic. And so you'll probably close about 80% of those referrals, 80 to 90%, maybe 100 if you're excellent at sales um, and you're excellent at what you do. The thing is that um, that's really nice for referrals. Um, and you don't have to pay for them at all because obviously people are um, so uh, obviously people are they already know you they already like you that kind of thing. But what's happening is that when you, are on, you when you go onto Facebook, um, you have to actually spend a little bit of money to be able to get those leads in. So you need to know what a lead is actually worth to you um, or, or what you're willing to pay. Okay, so you might be willing to pay. $30, $50, $100, that often comes down to how much a client is actually worth to you. Um, you know, because sometimes you, you're thinking, okay, how much money do I have to spend for a lead? But 
what's a client worth to you? Um, it's a really easy way to work it out. Um, how many? How much do you, do you charge? So if you charge um, eighty dollars a session and people train with you two times a week, that's one hundred and sixty dollars a week. Average that out over kind of how long people stay, and that client might be worth to you three, four k. Okay, so if the client is worth three, four k, how much are you actually willing to spend on a lead? And that helps you to kind of be like, okay, well, I could probably spend thirty dollars on a lead on Facebook. Okay, so now David has a question. Okay, but when we operate in a small local market, how can we get more audience? That's a really, really great question. Um, and it's, uh, it is a good question because you're often with, you know, uh, if you run kind of a, a large um, organization or it's national or, or even if it's kind of statewide you've got a really big audience to run with um, whereas with Facebook and uh, you know and especially as a local business we're running kind of these really small audiences so when I did um, a lot of Facebook training people are telling me you have to have minimum of a million people in an audience that's just even as an Australian that is just really really hard to find any kind of niche audience okay so I would suggest that these are the kind of two kinds of audiences that I run um, when I'm first starting a campaign I will run what we call just a blanket audience so just put in the demographics of the people in your area so David in your instance that might be um, uh, 35 to 55 year olds male and female within kind of whatever your radius is um, in your area, okay? And so that's going to give you the biggest audience. It's also going to give you the most general audience, but sometimes when we're running these local campaigns, that's actually the best audience that we can run. <coughs> Other times, I'll then start to put in my interests, okay? And I might start with a really big interest like health and fitness and just see. It. And so what I'm looking for in local lead generation is I'm looking anywhere from about 10,000 up to about like 80 to 100,000 people. That depends where you, where you are. Um, so in some rural areas, it's actually really hard to even find that 10,000 people. Um, and uh, But if you're in a dense area, like we're here in Alexandria, it's actually quite easy to find, say, 100,000 people. So you're definitely, um, we're definitely constricted as local businesses to whatever area that we have. Um, and the types of people who are on Facebook. Now, I find about 95% of people are on Facebook these days. So um, it is actually, uh, I find Facebook the best way to reach all of the people in your area. Um, other ways that you can expand is if you wanted to add a new location that was kind of like still within the same distance but still kind of, you know, um, brought your radius out a bit. I think that's definitely, um, definitely doable. But they're just some ideas that you can run with. Okay, so that's number three. You're probably not spending enough money, okay? So number one, we had you're using the wrong obje objective. Number two, you're probably trying to sell too soon. Number three, you're probably not spending enough money. Number four, ready for number four, everyone? Let me know in the comments, put a number four, um, is you're, you're not running your ads for long enough. Okay, so true story, I have had many people come to me and say, Ev, I'm running a challenge on Monday, I need to fill it up, I'm going to put a Facebook ad out um, with only a few days. Uh, and that makes me very nervous uh, because if that ad doesn't work or if the copy isn't right or the creative, it does not give you a, a very good buffer. Okay, so I try and have, um, if you're running a challenge, I would say six to four weeks, you want to be running ads for, okay, all of that time to get people into a challenge. Um, if you're running, um, yeah, any any kind of event or challenge, that is kind of my, my um, uh, timeline for that kind of thing. That just allows you just that buffer time to get people in um, and, and that kind of thing. I actually think that you should also... Um, like I, I, I get a lot of people who will be running ads for a couple of days and come to me and say, are my ads working or not? It's very, very hard to tell. So when I'm running ads, basically my timeline works like this. I put the ads up, okay, that's day one. 
I probably don't check them for about 48 hours after that. Um, yes, I might just kind of go in and check that they're definitely running or that they've been approved or those kind of things. Um, but I don't want to touch them for about 48 hours or really even look at the results because if you're running, you know, $20 a day or $30 a day, it doesn't actually give you kind of too much in that time um, to be able to make a conscious decision of whether these ads are working or not. So once I get to that maybe two or three day mark, I have a look at them. I, I look to see how many impressions have these ads had, okay? So I try and look for a minimum of 2,000 impressions, okay? If they haven't had 2,000 impressions, then I still leave them running until I get my 2,000 impressions. I just want to see, um, you know, without that much, without those kind of impressions, I can't make a really good decision on whether these ads are working or not. Once I've, once I've kind of seen either a couple of days or 2,000 impressions, then I usually work in seven-day lots, okay? So I'll wait for my seven days, and then I'll go back and I'll start to look at my stats. And that's a whole other different topic. Um, but, um, but then I'll start to see, you know, is this working? Have I got leads? Have people been clicking through all of those kinds of things? So sometimes the, our problem is that we haven't actually run our ads long enough for them to get any traction because it takes Facebook some time to kind of put its feelers out and find who are these people um, that are right for this ad campaign. Okay, so that's number four. Um, number five is, and I, I have touched on this, is that you're expecting your fa Facebook ads to do all the sales for you. Um, and, uh, and so like I said in the beginning, I really find Facebook ads great for lead generation, okay? At that point where, where, where we've got the awareness at the top, people are seeing us, they're loving us, they're sharing our videos, they're commenting, all of that kind of thing, that's awesome. Um, and then what they're coming down to actually, they put their name in for a special offer or a challenge or, or something like that. Um, what I find the biggest mistake that people make is sending them straight to a painting page, a mind body page, uh, how what uh, PT mind or whatever you're doing and and wondering why people aren't putting their credit card details in straight away um, People tend not to like to put their credit card details in straight away um, If you've ever come to a ninja workshop and heard me I am an avid online shopper um, and my my um, kind of mentality is if it's under a hundred dollars I buy it uh, if, uh, if I'm on the fence on something. But we're not talking about little widgets or, um, you know, a, a shirt or, or, or something like that. Or, you know, I, I bought this online, my coffee cup. Uh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about people having to make an effort to change their life. That's what you guys do. Okay, so if somebody um, has to come, even for a free consultation, that's a lot of energy that somebody has to expend, not just money, okay? So you need to think of it in terms of they're going to have to get out of bed. They probably have to get out of bed earlier than they usually do. It's cold at the moment. Um, they're going to have to make sure they have the right workout clothes. So they're probably going to have to head down to Kmart and make sure they've got the right shoes and tights and all that kind of thing. They've got to get over themselves as well. Um, so it's actually, apart from the money, there's actually a whole lot of energy that goes into somebody joining your challenge, coming for a free consult, all of those kinds of things. So if you're expecting that somebody's just going to just whip out their credit card and put their details in, it's probably not going to happen. You know, the Facebook ads is part of your sales and your marketing machine, and you need to work out where it fits in. So if somebody isn't necessarily going through and purchasing on your purchase page, it may not be your fault. It might not be something wrong with the page. It might just be that you have to get on the phone, you have to have a conversation with somebody and you have to nurture them. And people might just need a human connection. Um, and that's what I find because a lot of what we're doing is we're, we're trying to overcome people's objections. And they're not, they're not objections like, um, you know, I, I don't like the color of this coffee cup. Okay, they're objections like, I've tried this before and it's never worked for me. And I'm really unsure if I actually have the discipline to, to do it again. 
Um, they're the kinds of, of objections that you, we're dealing with with people who are joining our programs, people who are joining our, you know, our yoga studio or our challenge or our personal training. And that, that just takes a human connection. Sometimes you can't solve those objections in a landing page. Sometimes you just need to have a real human conversation with somebody um, and nurture them through your process. Okay, so if people are not um, buying on your sales page or putting their credit card details in, it's totally okay. It's time to pick up the phone and to have a conversation and, um, and get them um, kind of moving through your nurture funnel. Okay, so um, give me a thumbs up if you're still with me, guys. So we are up to number four. I've talked about number one you're using the wrong objective in your Facebook ads. I've talked about number two, you're trying to sell too soon. I've talked about number three, you're not spending enough money. Number four, you're not running your ads long enough. And then number five, you're expecting Facebook ads to sell for you. Um, okay, great, I see some thumbs up. Now, they, they are my five points. But I also have a little bonus for you because I love to give you the value, guys. So if you are ready for the bonus, I want to see the words bonus in the comments, okay? Bonus, because uh, I've got a little bonus that's gonna help you out for the last couple of minutes of this Facebook Live. Give me a couple of bonuses or else you're not getting the bonus, okay? I'm waiting for the bonus comments. So we have our five points, and then this is our bonus. Okay, David is ready for the bonus. <laughs> All right, Crystal's ready for the bonus. All righty, so um, the bonus. I wanna talk about Facebook conversion rates, okay? And I talked a little bit about this at the beginning, um, and a little bit about referrals, okay? So a lot of our businesses are built on referrals, and referrals are amazing, and you're probably converting your referrals at 80, 90, 100%. Um, amazing to build your, your business on referrals. The problem is when you do want to find a new audience or you do want to scale, you are going to have to find these different people who don't know you, who don't like you, who don't trust you. And what, we're, what I find is that people will come to me, this is so common, people will come to me and they're like, I tried Facebook ads and the lead quality is just bad in a different way they say it, okay? And um, and they're like, no, I hate those Facebook leads. They're just tire kickers. They're not any good. Um, you know, I can never get through to them, all those kinds of things, okay? So what I find is um, that we're expecting people on Facebook to convert at the same rate that a referral is gonna, re um, is gonna um, convert for us. And it's, it's actually a lot harder to sell somebody um, who hasn't heard about you. Maybe they've watched a couple of those awareness videos that we talked about. That's actually a lot harder to sell to those people. So I find common on Facebook to get maybe between 10 to 30% of the leads you get on Facebook convert to your actual um, uh, offer or, or challenge or, or whatever you're running, okay? So if, if you're finding a lot of the people not picking up, if you're finding um, that it's a re it is a really hard sell, you're not doing anything wrong, guys. It's just these people are going to take a little bit longer um, to convince um, and actually to nurture. And so I find that at the very top end, it's probably about 30% of people on Facebook who are going to convert. Um, on that first call, okay, or in those first couple of calls, the key here, okay, the key is to actually continue to nurture those people because, you know, they've seen, now let's just, let's just walk through their journey a little bit. They might have seen a video from you on Facebook, might have seen a video of your training, that kind of thing. They might follow you on Instagram, they might watch your stories, that kind of thing. So they're aware of you, okay. Then you've asked them to, to put their details in. So now they've kind of um, put their details in, that's another touch point. Then you've had a conversation. Hey, I'm this person, I'm that person. Get all these good results. They're trying in their mind to think, you know, is this going to work for me? I've tried all the stuff before, this hasn't worked, that kind of thing. And then they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I, I don't want to do it. Or you can't get a hold of them again. Those kinds of people, okay? So 
uh, you, you're going to get those people. But the great thing is now you have the, uh, most likely their email address and also their phone number. So what you want to do is now you just want to continue that process, okay? Continue that nurture process because what I find is that 9, 10, 12, 18 months later, they've continued to get your emails. They've continued to follow you. They've continued to watch you on Facebook. And then they're ready. Um, at, at their point in their journey, finally they're ready. And they call you and they say, hey, I've been watching your stories. And you're like, yeah, I know. I see you watching them every day. Um, and they're like, I'm ready to sign up. But if you never had that conversation and you never put them through that nurture process, um, you and, and you just said, no, Facebook ads are just terrible leads, then you, you never get that person. Okay, so sometimes the leads are just going to take that longer time to convert. So if you're only seeing kind of that 10 to 30% conversion rate, you're okay. Everything is okay. But you might need to just take a little bit of a longer time to convert those people, guys. So that's my five points and my bonus points. Um, let me know if you've got any questions um, in, in the comments. If you do, um, just type them in. Happy to help. Um, and uh, Crystal says mic drop, thank you. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, guys, you know, sometimes it's technical, but a lot of the time it's really our expectations about what we're expecting from our Facebook ads. Um, and even just sometimes just someone saying to you, hey, you're doing okay, you know, you're, you're calling all those leads, um, you know, that, that kind of thing, everything is okay. Everything can be fixed on Facebook. Um, and if you if you need help, then just reach out. We're always here in Crusher Fitness Marketing. If you've got a campaign running and you want someone to have a look at it, take a screenshot and say, hey, what do you think about my campaign? We'd love to help you out. Um, we also have our Ninja program where every month I'm coaching um, and teaching people about Facebook ads and about our, our comm process. That's also a really great way. We have our social media course, which um, you can you can just do on your own. It's kind of self-learning. Um, and, uh, and so there's so many different ways that we can help you guys um, when it comes to Facebook ads because it's really daunting uh, when you first start. And, uh, and so just reach out, reach out to somebody, tag myself, tag one of the comm team members um, and, uh, and let us help you out because that's what we want to do, okay? So I don't see any questions from you guys, so maybe I've just answered them all. Um, but make sure you have a great Wednesday. Um, it's the middle of the week. I want to encourage you to get into your week, keep crushing it, keep you know, keep on those Facebook ads. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week again, same time, 9.29, Crush Wednesday. We've got a heap of other stuff happening. If you're interested, we've got live workshops. We have online masterclasses, all that kind of thing. If you are interested, then pop a comment in saying um, workshop, masterclass, something like that, and one of our team can, uh, can get in contact with you. Anyway, guys, have a awesome Wednesday. Yes, David, give me a call about the September promo. I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, and till next week, keep crushing it and have an amazing day. See you guys.